Hey everybody, how's it going? Josh here. And just like we did with the other creatures, unless this video is somehow going up first, we have the full declassified profile for Ghidorah. Now, just getting into the basic stuff first, they call him Monster Zero. His nature is bioelectrical, body height listed at 521 feet, and that's all they're currently giving for that. If you go on the Monarch Sciences website, you go to Antarctica, you can click on it, and it has a green, yellow, and red type of leveling system. And red is the most classified, green's the least classified, and with certain codes you can get to the red one, and it gives a lot of really interesting details on the characters, or I guess monsters, titans, mutos, creatures, cryptos, whatever you want to call them. So starting off, uh, we kind of actually touched upon this in a previous video, from the Hydra to the Rainbow Serpent, Myth was a compass that led us to the resting place of the three-headed titan. A name unspoken through millennia of whispered nightmares, a living extinction event named the one who is many. We call it Monster Zero. And if you get on to the yellow level, it says, At a monarch containment facility deep in the frozen tundra of Antarctica, a three-headed winged serpent of ancient yet unknown origin, so kind of hinting at the alien space thing, lies frozen within a glacial tomb of ice. This is without question the largest super species ever discovered, easily dwarfing Godzilla at a height of over 500 feet tall. And it also says cranial scans reveal a divergent frontal lobe density in the brains of the three heads, denoting each head has a disparate level of cognitive functions, or disparate levels of cognitive functions, and possibly even independent thought. So we were kind of teased this earlier, basically it just kind of means each head can think for itself. Now getting onto the red layer one, we got a really interesting thermal imaging picture, which just looks huge, honestly. Like they did say Ghidorah is huge, but literally if you look at this image, which should be in the video, Ghidorah is just massive. The red classification information goes as following. Monster Zero's dermal layer is gilded with trace amounts of orum. Metallurgical studies theorize the scales act as a conductor capable of carrying bioelectrical currents through the creature's body. Injuries have been discovered on several locations on the beast's body, reminiscent of claw and scorch marks. Exo forensics are currently investigating. So definitely it kind of hints at previous battles with Godzilla. It says muscle tendons on the wings are also so hypertensile that their massive aerodynamics could generate hurricane force winds when in flight. Coupled with the body's electroreceptor mo molecular biology capable of conducting electrical currents, quite the sentence there, water vapor in the air would be heated at extreme levels creating its own localized storm system as it travels. If Monster Zero were to fly again, the stratosphere would be torn apart by an otherworldly tempest of thunder and lightning our sky has never seen. This is definitely something we saw literally in trailers, so kind of cool to I guess get an explanation behind that. Finishes off by saying Crypto Linguistics has analyzed translations of every worldwide case study of Monster Zero in the Monarch database across tens of thousands of years, and the ancients call it Ghidorah. So I'm actually kind of curious if instead of King Ghidorah, they're just going to go for a simple Ghidorah in this movie, but definitely comment your guys thoughts what do you think about this definitely a very interesting interpretation on Ghidorah's abilities and also it was previously confirmed that Ghidorah, Ghidorah's kind of traditional chirping noise will be present in this film so comment what your guys thoughts and we'll see you guys later with more Godzilla news and more hopefully declassified monsters